All right, so I'm gonna start working on this disc here. Uh, I gotta rebuild the cylinder, so I'm working on getting it off now. I'm gonna try to paint it, and I gotta put some tires on it. Uh, I gotta find two more rims too, They're around here somewhere. But anyway, this is a, I believe it's a 12 foot Athens disc. Um, I don't know what year it is or anything. Um, I don't know if it might be from the 70s or not. But anyway, I want to see about painting it and rebuilding the cylinder. And we might put some new hoses on it too. So let's get started. Alright, so I got the pins out and the hoses off. So let's see if we can set this ram off. But that wasn't too bad. Got that off. Um, so the next thing I can do is take these tires off. Or uh, scrape some of that grease off. I might scrape some grease off first. So I took a screwdriver and a uh, crowbar and scraped some there. Got it better than it was. I might put some degreaser or something on it before I run the cut brush over the thing. Or I might just run the cut brush over it. So let's see if we can get these tires off now. Um, of course, it's supposed to have four tires. It's only got two on it. Uh, I think one of the rims is in the barn both of them might be and we got some tires off of my uncle's truck he had uh had some new tires put on his truck so we're going to use the old ones on this uh, i'm going to put some tubes in it because these rims aren't in real good shape but then hopefully this it, i mean it'll be fine for this because all it's got to do is just hold air all right i know the air inch would be faster but then I'd have to get an air hose out here. So I'm just going to work at it like this for a little bit. I got the tire off that side and that side. So now what I'm going to do is pull the leveling thing off the back, flip it over, set this off, and then be ready to run the cut brush over about it. Might have to do a couple little things before and might not. But anyway, here we go. Back to that one got broke. So let's see. I might not flip it over, I might just drag it out. That's gonna work better. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take the cut brush and run over this thing. Probably won't get it painted today, so hopefully it won't rust back before I get it painted. Probably not, because I'm just going to be ro uh, knocking the rough stuff off of it anyway. So we'll see what happens. record any of the painting but I got this thing painted about as good as I'm gonna get it um, it's not perfect but that's all right I painted the disc red and then the part on the back that the board drags on I painted it black or that the board fastens to to drag the dirt behind the disc I painted it black and I painted the rims black. I still got two more rims. I gotta get uh, two tubes. And I wanna mount those tires before I paint them. I did pretty good to keep the paint off of these tires and just on the rim. Um, I got this new board here. Uh, that one there broke off on one end. But anyway, I still gotta rebuild the ram. Uh, me and Daddy will probably do that and then paint it. 
I'll probably paint it black too. I think the brown black up there would look pretty good against the, the red disc and the black um, drag back there. And I painted the hubs black. Um, yeah, I think it's going to look pretty good. I, I didn't paint all of those things and I didn't paint that there, but it's it's for working with it's not a like a carrot to a tractor show disc um but yeah that's what it looks like right now i'm sticking these uh arms back on the back and i think that looks good that black in contrast with the red i think that really stands out good all right i got two tires on the thing i've not got the look nuts tight i just got them on there I gotta fix the tube for this side get a tube right now I'm going to drill some holes through this new board that was broke off at the end but I think I can still get the position of the holes I'm gonna lay that right over there okay. all right we're getting ready to rebuild this cylinder for the disc we've got our new seals and there's those old seals are still on or some of the old seals are still on the uh, stuff in there the thin one is on the threaded side okay the o-ring is on the other side it's going to destroy it to get it out of there most likely or maybe not <laughs> All right, we got the new seals going back on. Daisy decided to come back. Hey there, Daisy. Yeah, it has to be under. It's about the only thing it can be. This one got an angle cut on it. Uh -huh. it was a Flat. Yeah. It's sort of a hard mm -hmm. thing, isn't it? Fiber thing or something. Yeah. Be a little bit windy, but uh I built some rests for the drag for the disc. Uh if you don't have anything on there, it'll drag too low whenever you're going down the road. It won't pick up high enough. It did have that four before there. Um and I don't know if it wore out. Or if it was cut down it might just wore out over time but anyway i took me a two before made it where it straddled that and then i took a, a smaller piece of wood a one by up there and uh nailed it to the top of that and then i put a little tractor keychain that would cut out with plasma cutter under there uh so that thing will work on metal instead of on wood and won't wear out. Still gotta get some tubes. We got them ordered, they're just not here yet. Get that done. Uh, put the ram, paint the ram, put it back on. Make some hoses and we'll be about done. All the tires are on the disc now. And I've got the lug nuts tight. I actually found the studs or the the lug bolts for this one we took them out and laid them on our boat being the last time uh we took this tire off and didn't put it back on i'm missing one i think four will be fine i can eventually get another one and then i couldn't find i was missing some lug nuts i found three that were off of something else they weren't even really lug nuts but uh i'm gonna get a couple more we got some laying around Got a screw of grease fitting back in there and get the hydraulic hoses made and we'll be done. We got the hydraulic lines hooked to the tractor and we're going to see if it'll pick the ram up and then we'll hook it to the tractor. Yep. Okay, hold it there. <laughs> 